Good morning everyone. I'm going to show you how to uh, stop any of this from running from Windows Startup and put it manually. And also you have to make sure that you do quit any of this after every time you use it. I'll show you how you do that. Okay, first thing I do, I install the new disk. Okay, I make sure that I set the compatibility mode to Windows 8. Run this program in compatibility mode for Windows 8. And run this program as a administrator. Click apply and OK. I just make sure that is done to uh, make sure that it'll accept that setting that I'm going to do. Uh, put it manually and all that. Probably you don't have to do that. Okay, you could do that. If it doesn't work, you could do that. You know, but uh, that's one thing that I do. Make sure I do that to some other program also. Like ZamDoc, I put it to run compatibility mode and run as administrator. Okay, then, then after that, you have to go to, um, I would say, go to your services. And how you get to your services, there's two ways you get to your services, okay? Um, you go to services a long way, all apps, click a letter, W and you open uh, where is it hmm don't see it in here hmm that's weird where the heck is it Windows tools. Hmm. Okay. Well, the other way you get to it, you open the control panel, go to Windows tools, and then you go to services. There's also task manager in here, and there's Windows tools. Well, you don't have to follow those commands, but that's one easy way that you could open those two tasks. Okay. So let's open services, double click it. Services window will open. You look at any of this. It's set to manual. That's what I wanted. By default, okay, you go check under properties, right click any of this, and in here it's set as automatic okay when you first install any of this you want it to set to manual okay so and then click apply and okay if it's running if you see it running in here you can also right click and stop any of this if you don't want to use it at the moment Okay, so then X out of here. Then you go to Task Manager. Okay, that's one way you can get into Task Manager. Go to your startup. Make sure it's disabled. Okay, by default, it's enable. Okay, just disable your any desk. Windows 10, you'll have a startup tab over here, up on top here. Okay, so those are the two things you need to do, and then, okay, after you did those change, okay, I want you to start in your desk, double click it, okay, and once you double click it, you'll have it in here, okay, so, and it's starting. I have two users that I help in here and I set them up so if they're on the computer I don't I cannot access it connect Oops.
Should not connect. Hmm. I don't know, but anyways, it should say client is offline. Okay, and then once you got that started, okay, you'll see in the task manager that it is running. It's running in the background here. Okay, you have to make sure that it's not running in the background. If it does, right click and task. Okay. And then and task. Okay, so now I end all task. So now, okay, if you just start it, okay, usually you just go in here, okay, right click, quit it. Okay, now if you go check in task manager, you should not see it in here anywhere. But if it's running, you'll see, you should see it. Okay. Now I just started it again. It's running in here. Is it in my task manager? It should be. Yeah, you see, it's right here. So if it's running here, is it running in the background? No. Oh, yes, it is. So anyways, you go here. And task, I mean quit. Could also end task, but those should disappear. Okay, you don't have it in the background. Now, if you reboot your computer next time, okay, everything is gonna be fine. Not gonna work in the background. That's what we wanted. Okay, not to work in the background after you reboot your PC so but if you uh, restart any desk and then turn off your computer while it's running in here it's gonna get back into the background it's gonna go back into your background window settings and then uh, whoever does the remote with you is gonna see that you're on your computer is able you'll be able to double click and you'll have to accept the invitation or deny the invitation but it's not really a good thing it's better to have it on manual you start it only if you ask to start it or somebody is asking you to start it that you know that is helping you for some of the problems you have okay Thank you very much for watching. Hope that helps uh, people to stop any of this from running from Windows startup. Okay, goodbye now and take care all. Merry Christmas. Well, we're close to Christmas. One more night, one more sleep. Good night. Bye bye.